What is going on, pros and average shows? Redbeard here, and it has been a while since I've done one of these, but I got something cool to show you. Um, so let's get right to it. Um, my new league is starting up uh, for the summer for box, and um, just from playing this past winter and uh, fall, taking some a lot of shots. But um, what I'm finding is is that no matter how many shots I get taken on me, the ball always seems to find the half to a quarter inch of space in the places that aren't padded. And um, they leave nice bruises, marks, um, you know, circles that kind of look like giant ringworm that turn purple, green, yellow, and all shades of other nonsense. So what I've come to uh, do is... Uh, like to modify my stuff as you guys can probably see with my gloves in my modified glove video and um, yeah I mean it just pretty much make it so it's functional and it, and it works for me but um, so right, right off the bat you know uh, if you guys didn't know I play with a, a Easton Elite <laughs> chest protector um, it's a hockey upper Nothing, nothing too crazy. Let's see if I can move back just a little bit for you so you can see. No, not, not, not really that big of a, of a well, profile when you look straight on at it. So what I've had to do was um, first uh, I found uh, some old elbow, old old elbow pads, and I <laughs> literally um, doubled them up, folded them in on the inside. And uh, so now it actually sits a little bit higher. It's a little bit high. It's a little bit harder to see because uh, the light isn't the greatest in here. Let me see if I can turn these down a little bit. That's a little bit better. But I mean, um, there is a tremendous difference from when, to, from where it was to where it is now. And um, this actually puffs it up. So I'm going to show you with it on in about, you know, at the end of this video, just to show you. Um, so I did that on both sides. As you can see. Um, I know a lot of guys have been telling me to puff up my shoulders and my chest, so that's really what I tried to do, especially from uh, my Canadian followers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, giving me tips and uh, suggestions. It's, it's really helped out a lot, um, especially when with the gloves too, when I got when I got hit in the hand and my, my hands swell up. Um, but the second thing I had to do is, uh, I guess on my blocking arm, um, since I'm right-handed, I hold my stick in my right hand and I got my left arm kind of like the catching glove in a hockey. Um, this arm, okay, there's that space, that crease right here, and there's literally no padding from this crease down to the fabric inside of the arm pad. Uh, so what I did was I took uh, that other shin pad that I used uh, on my gloves, and I took the second one, and then I shoved it in here. So you can see that actually fits perfectly. And it's just big enough so I can still get all the flex that I need in my arm. Um, but, you know, there's a pad right in this crease where I'm not going to get hit. So that's really the, the, the three main mods I did. And, uh, oh, um, there's actually this, like, breastplate. And on the elbow pads, I had, like, this hard uh, rubber, hard plastic dome thing. So, well, I'm just trying it. It kind of looks stupid. I don't really care. It works. Uh, is, um, I threw it on there because I found that it actually puffs up my chest a little bit more and uh, it sits a little bit higher so there's actually space in between you can kind of see it there there's actually space in between um, the breastplate and uh, the padding underneath so I'm hoping with the ball hitting that it'll absorb some more of the impact um, instead of just taking it all in the chest so I'm going to throw this thing on and uh, show you guys what it looks like now I'm not gonna buckle it, but I mean, right off the bat, you can see that my shoulders are a lot higher up. Um, the problem I was having before was um, my shoulders coming down, and when I would go into my stance, so my right hand is down, um, my sh whole shoulder would actually dip, and uh, that right corner would be picked off every time. So I'm hoping with these, you know, I can still get full range of motion. You know, I'm still kind of sketched out about this here. Um, this isn't pulled back all the way though yet, so. But you know, a ball gets through every once in a while. It's not that big of a deal. 
as long as I make the save. And uh, you know, that's the that's the biggest thing that I found out right now. Um, you know, thank you again to all all the guys that uh, have made suggestions since I started buying all this stuff um, almost five months ago. Uh, you guys have been a huge help, uh, especially with sticks, gloves, you know, chest protectors, and other nonsense, and uh, other tips as far as being goal. Um, but really, that's it for now. This is my modded chest protector. I got my first game tomorrow. I'm super pumped, and uh, I hope to see you out there. If you guys got any questions or uh, want to check out any videos, I'm going to throw the original uh, viewing of this chest protector so you can actually see how small it is in the description below. And uh, that's it. Hope you guys are out there playing. Um, playing some wall balls, stringing up some sticks, checking out a bunch of cool stuff that's been coming out. But um, that's it for now. Hope to see you out there.